This is the first time I am speaking to the body of Christ since the lockdown due to the global pandemic. Today, I want to speak to you on this very important topic, hope in the face of fear. Isolated from the meeting together because of the coronavirus, we meet for worship now online. Of course, there is no substitute for gathering together in person. How I look forward to seeing every face by face. Even though a virus can keep us out of our building for a while, there is no virus that can stop the church from being the church. In most cases, when we are found in a troubling situation, we quickly drown into panic and anxiety. We cease to try to think biblically about how we should think about the response to this threat. It is only we, the children of God, who have the privilege to trust the one who created all things, sustains all things, and controls all things, as it says in Romans chapter 11 and verse 36. Trust in God. In the Sermon on the Mountain, Jesus pointed out a self-evident truth through a simple theoretical question, as it says in Matthew 6, which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his lifespan? Even the world recognizes the futility of anxiety. Jesus' point, however, is not to show the anxiety's uselessness, but he contrasts it with the father's trustworthy care for his children. Fear and anxiety reveal where our hearts lies. Trials, especially ones related to basic necessities and health, life, thinking of what to eat and drink and think about your body, like it says Matthew 6, 25, demonstrate where our trust has been placed. Have you been trusting in yourself, in your health, in your medicine, in finances, in the government, or in God? Sickness, or even the possibility of it, and the threat of death clearly demonstrate just how little we can control tomorrow. It's we who feel that danger accompanied with helplessness, that anxiety, which the Bible calls sin, as it says in Philippians 4, 5 to 7, often appears. Jesus points out, anxiety is powerless to add even an hour to your life. Since anxiety can't change anything, why stress? What will happen will happen anyway. We can't control it anyway. Those responses are certainly better than anxiety. And a faithful Christian may probably include many of these as he or she seeks to respond to the trial with faith. However, something crucial is missing in these responses, something only those with the Holy Spirit can do. Trust in God. Recognizing the powerlessness of anxiety is meant not to merely make us make us not anxious, but rather to push us to trust in the all-powerful one who knows exactly what you need, like it says in Matthew 6, 32, and loves to give good things to his children who ask in Matthew 7, 11. Every gift and every threat, every good and evil is part of God's good, perfect ordering of the universe this world and your life for his glory if you are in he if you are his child if you have trusted in jesus alone for forgiveness of your sins 
then you should be confident that all these happen together for all good, for your own good. Christian, if there is one thing that you and I can learn from this threatened pandemic and overrest, overrest media coverage, may it be quickness to reflex trust in the Lord instead of anxiety or apathy. God made all things and he rules them perfectly and completely. That same God rules all things, cares for you with the fatherly love. If God, in his wisdom, determines that the best thing for you is that you are safe, you will be safe. And if his wisdom determines that it is best that one gets sick or even dies, we must trust that it is right. Your greatest danger, therefore, is not COVID-19 pandemic or even death. It is a scene of fear and anxiety. Remember, nothing can happen to you without going through your loving Father. God will provide just what you need. Like it says in Romans 8, 31 to 32. In conclusion, when you face the possibility of COVID-19 coming into your life, even ending your life, don't be anxious. Don't panic. Don't resign yourself to helplessness. Rather, trust in the Lord. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, casting all your anxieties on Him because He truly cares for you. And with that, I want to say a prayer. Father, thank you so much for this time you've given us to live and to see all this progress and developments of COVID-19. We continue to ask your God to bless the medical personnel who are struggling during this time to see that they manage this COVID-19 and also for their way of discovering a va possible vaccine. We thank you, your God, that even through this situation, you've cared for us and you've kept us safe. Father, there's nothing else that we can do but looking up to you and trusting you completely because you are all in all. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. God bless us all.